PID Pelvic Inflammatory Disease PID Pelvic Inflammatory Disease This term is applied to women only. Pelvic Inflammatory Disease refers exclusively to ascending infection of the female upper genital tract the female structures above the cervix. Pelvic Inflammatory Disease is the most common and serious complication of sexually transmitted diseases STDs, aside from AIDS, among women. The signs and symptoms of Pelvic Inflammatory Disease include fever, foul-smelling vaginal discharge, extreme pain, including pain during intercourse, and vaginal bleeding. Pelvic inflammatory disease can scar the fallopian tubes, ovaries, related structures and lead to ectopic pregnancies, infertility, chronic pelvic pain, and other serious consequences. The infectious microorganisms in pelvic inflammatory disease migrate upward from the urethra and cervix into the upper genital tract. Many different organisms can cause pelvic inflammatory disease. But most cases are associated with gonorrhea and genital chlamydial infections, two very common STDs. The gonococcus neisseria gonorrhea, which causes gonorrhea, probably travels up into the fallopian tubes, where it causes sloughing casting off of some cells and invades others. It multiplies within and beneath these cells. The infection then spreads to other organs resulting in more inflammation and scarring. The presence of a cervical mucus plug normally helps prevent the spread of microorganisms to the upper genital tract, but it is less effective during ovulation and menses. The gonococcus may gain access more easily during menses, if menstrual blood flows backward from the uterus into the fallopian tubes carrying the organisms with it. This may explain why symptoms of pelvic inflammatory disease caused by gonorrhea often begin immediately after menstruation as opposed to any other time during the menstrual cycle. Women with STDs are at greater risk of developing pelvic inflammatory disease. A prior episode of pelvic inflammatory disease increases the risk because the body's defenses are often damaged during the initial bout of upper genital tract infection. Sexually active teenagers are more likely to develop pelvic inflammatory disease than are older women. The more sexual partners a woman has, the greater is her risk of developing pelvic inflammatory disease. Women who douche once or twice a month may also be more likely to have pelvic inflammatory disease. Douching may push the microorganisms up into the upper genital tract and it may also ease the discharge, masking the infection. So the woman delays seeking health care. The pelvic inflammatory disease diagnosis can be difficult to make. If symptoms such as lower abdominal pain are present, a physical exam may be done to determine its location. A check for abnormal vaginal or cervical discharge as well as for evidence of cervical chlamydial infection or gonorrhea. Other tests, such as a sonogram, endometrial biopsy or laparoscopy may be used to distinguish between PID and other serious problems that may mimic PID. PID P E L V I C I N F L A M M A T O R Y D I S E A S E PID Pelvic Inflammatory Disease